In this video, I'm talking about recent research that may dramatically improve the way that hearing aids perform in background noise. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I release a new video. The holy grail for individuals with a hearing loss is the ability to separate speech from background noise, whether you're talking to one person or whether you're talking to a group of people. Well, I recently saw a video on the Google AI blog that illustrates the ability to be able to separate out who you want to hear just by looking at that individual. And inside of this software that they've created, it actually is pretty impressive. So instead of me trying to describe it to you, let me actually show it to you. I hate it. Hate being on planes. We all walk through the same door, we all pay the same price. Now if you ask me, that's pretty impressive, but the number one most difficult listening situation that most people encounter is a noisy restaurant. So in this next clip, I'm gonna show you their ability to separate out speech from background noise in a cafeteria setting. Okay, so the task is, um, given the video, any person who you see talking, their audio gets cleaned up and everything else gets suppressed. Okay, so the task is, um, given the video, any person who you see talking, their audio gets cleaned up and everything else gets suppressed. Now I don't know about you, but I feel like this technology inside of hearing aids would be a complete game changer. So I went ahead and downloaded the full article to read through it to see how much viability this would have in future generations of hearing aids. The article is titled, Looking to Listen at the Cocktail Party, a Speaker Independent Audiovisual Model for Speech Separation. And this was written by a number of Google researchers. Here are a few key points that I pulled out of this article. Number one, these researchers performed this on existing videos, meaning they didn't do it in real time. So before you get really excited about just taking this software and putting it into a hearing aid, listen to what the authors had to say. It should be noted that our method does not work in real time, and in its current form, our speech enhancement is better suited for the post-processing stage of video editing. The second thing is that this technology is a huge leap forward for audiovisual processing. Previous generations of this type of software required the software to be trained by a certain voice, meaning if you were going to go to a restaurant with a certain friend, that certain friend's voice would have to be programmed into the software so it knows what to actually look for. In this particular software, they could actually take a generalized speech format so it would work with any individual in any situation, which makes it more viable in a generalized setting, meaning you could go anywhere and communicate with anyone and use this particular technology. The third thing that I got out of the research article was that when they did this in a noisy bar situation, they were able to get rid of the background noise, but it significantly degraded the speech of the individual that they were trying to hear. This is very similar to the limitations we have in hearing aid technology today. Being able to remove a speech source from a variety of other speech sources can be very difficult. So if they're going to make this a viable product inside of a hearing aid, they're going to have to fix that as well. The fourth thing that I got out of this research study is that they need visual information to be able to do this audio-visual separation, and hearing aids, of course, do not have visual information, at least not yet. You see, they're actually working on hearing aid technology that can sense brain activity for eye movement, and if they can do that and combine it with this audio information, they may actually be able to determine who you want to hear based on where you're looking. While this type of technology is not yet available inside of hearing aids, it is research like this that gives hope to individuals with a hearing loss that struggle in a background noise situation and absolutely paves the way for future research for technology that will make its way into hearing aids. 
In the meantime, one of the best ways to improve your ability to understand speech in a background noise situation is to have real ear measurement performed on your hearing aids. Now, if you don't know what real ear measurement is, I highly recommend that you watch my video that will be linked in the card up here and in the description below. One other way to dramatically improve your ability to understand speech in a background noise situation at the current moment is to use an assistive listening device like a Roger Pen, a Roger Select, or a remote microphone. These types of devices will help cut through the background noise because it takes the speech of the person you want to hear and sends it right into your hearing aids. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.